A Rapid City Police Lieutenant recently retired after more than 31 years on the force. He's never been one to seek the spotlight, but after all these years, we wanted to know more about the man behind the badge. Tonight, we look at the legacy of retired Lieutenant Tom Senesak as we go along the way with the Rapid City PD. Tom Senesak was a recently married college graduate in Minnesota when he got a job offer from the Rapid City PD in 1985. The catch was I had to start Monday morning, and he was calling me on the previous Thursday. So all I, I did, all I did was load up all the clothes I had and everything in a 1973 Chevy Malibu and drove to Rapid City. Just 24 years old then, retired now, we can reminisce with old pictures on a computer screen. He had to wait for a three-day weekend before his wife Linda could come join him and they could begin a life here in Rapid City. No kids yet and a distinguished career ahead. I've been on the SRT or the Special Response Team, or people call it the SWAT Team. Uh, served on that team for 10 years. Was a detective for, I think, 15 years, uh, working violent crime cases primarily. As time went on, they had three kids, two girls and a boy. And you can tell this long-term lawman was also a family man. The kids kept growing. They're now grown up. I got to tell you, I'm proud of all my children. Um, they're all wonderful. Um, they all do wonderful things, and they're all going to do wonderful things. Just as he did wonderful things on the force, he remembers his last day, retiring as lieutenant of the Criminal Investigations Division. And they made me leave. And, and uh, they made me shut my office and log off my computer, and they took me down the elevator, and the doors opened up. <laughs> It was way over the top, and uh, they caught me off guard. But that's not the end of the story, because the little guy here, Tom's son, is now this guy here, Patrol Officer Nate Senesak. Let's have a look-see at that insurance real quick, make sure that's all up to date. So that's right, Tom's son Nate is following in the footsteps of his father. Every time we put on the uniform or put on our badge and our, we have our patches and we wear anything, the department issues us, it's a representation on our department and it's something bigger than us. I'm happy that he found something that he wants to do and that he enjoys it. Um, I'm happy when he's happy. Nate has only been on the force for about a year and a half. He works the night shift, driving dark streets. I even wake up in the middle of the night thinking, my son's out there driving around, you know? Um, wondering how things are going, what he's on, that kind of thing. This plaque was given to Tom at his retirement party. The plaque itself reads, Rapid City will always be at its safest with a Senesac on watch. Among the well-wishers, Chief Carl Jaggeris calls Tom an RCPD legend. It binds the two Senesacs both by name and profession. Two generations, Senesac and son. I don't want to look at it like I have to be better. I just want to be able to do the best that I can in my career to put the Rapid City Police Department in a positive light. Just like his dad, which brings us back to the lobby on Tom's last day. And I look over by the front entrance of the lobby and there's my family. And there's Nate in uniform. And the guy doesn't work days, he works nights. And I don't have a ride home because I, I had turned in my car. And, uh, and Nate says, come on, I'll give you a ride home. He gave you a ride home in the squad car. So what is Tom's legacy here at the Rapid City PD? Nate says he's heard from detectives his dad worked with. And then how much did they learn from watching him and doing the same things that he has done and how much it's helped them. Uh, once he became an investigator, it was just, that's, that's what he will be remembered as, as a detective. Yeah, I worry about him, but um, you worry about your kid doing anything. So I'm, I'm very pleased. Um, he's, he's my legacy, actually. He's it. If you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know. And Nate Senezak says he plans to retire from the RCPD just like his dad did. As for Tom, retired less than two weeks, he says he will not be a stranger at the PD and plans to stop in and visit from time to time.